Good evening. Tonight we're here with Jenny, who's an expert on Matilda Jocelyn Gage. Jenny, can you tell us a little bit about Matilda Jocelyn Gage? Yeah, Matilda grew up in New York, native. She was born in March 1826. She was an only child. And in her house, they um, were a station for the Underground Railroad. She eventually went on to marry Henry Hill um, Gage. And they had four children. And once they sent, settled in Fayetteville, New York, they ended up also being a station of the Underground Railroad as well. Very interesting. So would you say that Mrs. Gage was most notable for her participation in the Underground Railroad? Well, she was known for that. She actually became actively involved in the women's suffrage movement. Together with Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton, she co-founded the National Women's Suffrage Association. She also helped establish two state suffrage associations, and those were in New York and in Virginia. She continued to write and fight for women and their right to vote. What a busy girl. So Mrs. Gage grew up in the anti-slavery movement and moved to the women's suffrage movement. Yeah, but that's not all she did. She also worked for religious viewpoints um, to go with the government in her later years. Um, she really worked hard. Her legacy was, however, to go with the national women's suffrage movement. That's really what she left behind for all of us. Okay. Is there anything inter interesting about Mrs. Gage that you would like to share with us? Yeah, there is actually one thing. During her women's suffrage movement, she really spoke out with the Native Americans, and because of her stance to help them and how they were being traded, she was adopted by the Wolf Clan of the Mohawks Nation. Uh, they, her name that they gave her translated into Sky Carrier. The one thing that really impacted Miss Gage about this was that within that tribe, the men and the women were equal, and so that's really what she took from that and inspired her with the women's suffrage movement. Okay. Um, before we go, give us one more unique fact about Mrs. Gage. She sounds like a very interesting person. She was very interesting. Unfortunately, Matilda Jocelyn Gage died in March 1898, approximately six days short of her 72nd birthday, which is pretty amazing in those times. However, her lifelong motto that she carried with her even appears on her gravestone, that was, there is one word sweeter than a mother, home, or heaven, and that word is liberty. Interesting. Well, thank you for sharing with us tonight about Matilda Jocelyn Gage. Thank you.